Hey y'all. This is gonna be like a fake blog, I guess, or a blog for the whole week because I haven't recorded anything since last Sunday. I'm hosting a perfectly, what's it called? Perfectly posh party for my friend Beth and I've been doing like little videos and stuff um, to promote their products. So that's been taking up all of my video time. Um, but let's see what I've been doing this week. Last week on Sunday, me and um, my daughter went to the pumpkin farm and got pumpkins for the front porch and a carrot cake. <laughs> the pumpkins look great on the front porch, but it kind of just highlights how empty the rest of the porch looks. So I'm thinking of going and getting some hay bales and some other stuff to go on the porch, maybe. I don't know, um, but I haven't done it yet. And what else? Kind of reading three books this week or planning on reading three books this week. Um, one is Pet Cemetery. So um, as my second book for the Readers and Vibing Peril Challenge, that's September and October. So that's my audio book. Um, and I really like it. I really like Stephen King, even if he's, you know, a little more verbose than necessary. But I especially like his older stuff. So Pet Cemetery and um, Firestarter and, you know, those kinds of things, even up to misery and, and, um, you know, so I like, I like that stuff. I liked Dolores Claiborne and some of those too, but not the same way. So I haven't read Pet Cemetery in a really long time. I'm, um, you know, so for those who don't know what Pet Cemetery is, which is, you know, just neglectful if you're into the horror genre, um, it is about a doctor. He's a physician who goes to take a job in a, at a college town in the infirmary. And on his very first day there, somebody dies. Um, he meets a man across the street, an old guy, um, who shows him a cemetery. That's a terrible way to describe this book. A doctor takes a job in a college um, as, you know, the director of the infirmary. And behind his house is a path that leads to a pet cemetery that has supposedly been taken care of by the neighborhood kids for decades and decades. It freaks his wife out and it makes his daughter sad. And he meets the neighbor, Judd, who is an old guy who's kind of spry for his age. When his daughter's cat dies, um, he buries him and the cat comes back to life. So that's where I am in the book. And I think that in general, that's kind of where everyone, everyone knows that much happens. It's the cat on the cover of the book and it's called Pet Cemetery, and it's Stephen King. So there's some stuff you have to know is gonna happen, right? And I think lots of people, especially if you're a horror fan, um, have at least seen the movie, I hope. Um, but that's how far I am in the book. I had forgotten a little bit about um, the guy who dies his first day, the main author, the main character's first day at his job, one of the students, um, is killed and I had forgotten, forgotten that part and some other kind of small things that are going on. So it's always interesting to do a reread, especially, you know, 20 years later. Um, I'm still enjoying it. It's creepy and a little spooky. And in the foreword, Stephen King talks about how it's his creepiest book in his opinion, his scariest book in his opinion. Um, and he talks a little bit about where he got the idea. So I'm reading that. And then um, there's a buddy read happening um, on Instagram with Kat at Y Read, and we're reading the duology um, for the Killing Moon and then um, the Shadowed Sun is the second one. So tomorrow's the first discussion and it's based on the 10 
the first 10 chapters of this book. So I just finished the 10th chapter of that. Um, the book is about, it's set in a world, there's a caste system and there are people who are gatherers who um, basically are the people um, who work for, for lack of a better word, work for the state or work for the community that kill the corrupt peacefully. Um, dreams are, are used as fuel in some ways, um, in ways that I don't entirely understand yet um, in the first 10 chapters. But um, so the dreams of the people that, that die in these gatherings are useful uh, to the rest of the community. Um, and it is a fantasy novel um, and we've hit the secret because of course there will be a secret and um, I don't know if there will be an uprising. There could be, at least there's some doubt in um, the main character, the gatherers that we're getting to know there's some doubt in their mission. Um, so it's reminding me right now of Wanted. I don't know if anybody's seen that before or read the comic book, but that's what it's kind of reminding me of right now. Um, so there's that. I also finished reading um, The Music of What Happens, I think is the name of it. Um, and I sent a copy of it to one of my friends and we're going to try and do a live discussion, I hope, pretty soon. But um, that book is about two teenage boys who, um, you know, one is very shy and introverted and super gay, you know, very feminine. And then the other kid, also gay, but super butch gay. And they start working together on a food truck, um, sort of like, you know, in a meet cute kind of way. Um, so that was really cute. And I'm hoping to do that discussion with Hector because um, he really likes the author, Bill Konisberg, and I really like the author too. So I thought that would be fun to do uh, with a friend. So I sent him a copy yesterday uh, or it was delivered yesterday to his house. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then there's going to be a discussion later this month for Kindred um, by Octavia Butler. So that's the other book I intend to read. Um, next, after, after we discuss the first 10 chapters of The Killing Moon, I'm just going to finish that. Um, I didn't want to read more than 10 chapters because I didn't want to spoil anything um, for the discussion tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish that probably tomorrow or Monday. And then I'm going to read Kindred so I can participate in the discussion of that for the big Octavia Butler slow read that's happening on, on Instagram. Um, I've been participating in some follow loops on Instagram, which are kind of insane. The number of new followers I've gotten and become the followers for um, as part of those and I really got to step up my book stick ring game <laughs> my picture taking skills because some of them are just really beautiful but it also seems like reels is really coming in to play a lot um, you know for people who are making videos and stuff on the platform versus having to go over to book talk to do it and I don't want to do either of those things <laughs> So I probably won't. Um, I do like making the little videos sometimes. And like I said, I've been doing them for the posh party. So maybe I'll get into it. But all that editing is a lot of work. <laughs> um, let's see. I went and checked out some books from the library. They were my holds. And two of the three holds were books that I ended up buying because the holds were taking too long. So from the library, I got... Lovecraft Country, which was the reading vlog I did for last week. Done. Read it already. And <laughs> The Killing Moon, which I bought. Um, 
and have read the first 10 chapters of. And then the third one is A Peace of Mind. I think I, uh, this book was recommended by the Artism Geek on YouTube. Um, if I'm remembering where I got the idea for this book from. So, and it's little. It's wee, wee, wee. So maybe I'll read that one. Not before all of the other. If you remember my library haul from a few videos ago, I haven't read any of those books yet. So this one is on that pile towards the bottom. The other thing I've been doing this week is figuring out if I can turn a little um, study kit into a little library room inside my card catalog. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of dark in there because I don't have the light set up yet, but I have little mini books to go in there. But I'm worried that the whole thing's going to come tumbling down every time I sit next to it. Um, but like, here's a little bookshelf, our little end table. Be really cute if I can make it work. <sighs> I feel like there's a lot going on at work, so that often slows me down with reading sometimes. Some of the um, new cartoon drawn graphic art um, avatars that I asked someone to make have come in this week and I love them so much. So I've been like ordering new stickers because I put stickers and things that have um, like reviews may vary on them when I'm doing a review. So I knew, ordered new stickers and that, you know, been doing that. And then um, there have been like, next week I'm giving a talk and um, I'm supposed to be preparing my portfolio for promotion and I'm taking a test for an endorsement credential through the state. Like, um, I've got new interns. I've added a clinic that I'm working at. So it feels like it's been a busy week, even though it's only been four days. Um, so I didn't vlog this week, <laughs> but I've been reading and Instagramming. And I found a book and a tea recording from a couple weeks ago. So I posted that yesterday, today, Saturday. So it hasn't been a total and complete loss. So that's good. Hopefully everybody out there and everybody you care about is safe and healthy. And I'll see you next time.